If you're using virtual environments with Python, you can actually run into an issue where the package is installed at a global level rather than in the individual virtual environment level. And this can cause issues with PyCharm and how it's actually looking for the package itself. And this is all has to do with pathing, but here's a way that you can avoid having that issue. So we have a simple uh, test here, project test. So I have a uh, virtual environment created. So we'll go ahead and activate this. We'll do a quick pip freeze to see what is in this. So we have NumPy installed here according to the virtual environment. If we go into PyCharm, we can see that the interpreter also believes that it is installed here, version 1.23.3. However, when we run our code, we get package not found. So there's the reason why this is happening is because if we do a uninstall, we can see uh, where it thinks the package actually is. So it's saying that it's not installing because this lives out in the global site packages. So no files were found to uninstall. However, if we do pip freeze, it still thinks that it's installed there. So to get out of this and fix this, what we want to do is we want to go outside of our virtual environment. We want to uninstall NumPy at the global level. We want to say yes. Now, if we go back to our virtual environment, it doesn't know that anything's installed. And then we do pip install numpy. And now we can see that it's actually installed. If we go back to PyCharm, we can see that it's installed again. And if we run this, we'll successfully run our code as expected. And so again, this is because this is happening at the global level. PIP and virtual environment are trying to be smart and use your global packages rather than having to install it and make multiple copies. However, in this case, there's a pathing issue with the way PyCharm looks at the virtual environments. And so this is an easy way to get around that issue. So if we do PIP freeze again, we see that NumPy is again installed. And we know that this time, we can see that the module is correctly from the virtual environment this time. So if we go back, we'll see this one last time, we will pip uninstall. And then what we want to do is we want to go to our global level. So it's installed at the global level. We'll go back here. So it can still be installed. This time we see that it's coming from the global level. And so we can, we can run our program from the command line successfully. But if we run from PyCharm, we still get our error. So this is, again, a pathing issue within how PyCharm handles this and how the global Python packages are being used.